expert here trying to hijack this video with our new Kickstarter campaign for our awesome smartphone seat post sender. Oh, seat down, eh? Oh, Wade Simmons, huck. Just tell your phone where to put the seat and Siri does the work. In this video, I'll show you how to turn that old Shimano front shifter into a dropper post switch. Now, every Shimano shifter is a little bit different, but the general internal designs are very similar. Now before we dive in, let's make sure that you have a dropper post that will be compatible with one of these switches. You need a dropper post that's made to have the cable head installed in the switch, rather than in the post. Examples of compatible posts are the Kineshock Lev and the second generation Kineshock Lev Integra, with this style of cable attachment assembly at the bottom, and all versions of the specialized command post. Here's a Shimano Saint M810 shifter that we've already modified. We've removed the pawl responsible for preventing cable that has been reeled into the shifter from being let out again without pressing the cable release button on the shifter. Whichever model of Shimano shifter you're modifying, you need to locate and remove the pawl responsible for this process. In the case of this Saint shifter, it required grinding off the head of the rivet holding the pawl in, but your shifter may be different. Take this Shimano XT M780 front shifter for example. With this shifter, you'll need to first remove the gear indicator or upper shifter cover along with the cable port plug and barrel adjuster. Then remove the screws on the underside of the shifter. For a non-i-spec version like this one, we have to remove the handlebar clamp as well before the shifter's upper cover can be removed. Now remove the plastic plate that guides the gear indicator. Even if your shifter didn't come with the gear indicator installed, this part will likely be inside your shifter. The pawl that needs to be eliminated is right here. It's held in place by a clip that can be removed with a modified flathead screwdriver. Be careful not to lose this clip as you're removing it. Pry up the upper steel plate on the shifter mechanism and then use a pick tool to push the spring and pawl up and off of their pivot. Keep in mind that the barrel adjuster is held in by this plate and can fall out while prying the plate up. If that happens, don't worry, it's easy to reinstall. Reinstall the clip on the pawl pivot post with a pair of pliers. Now you can check to make sure that the shifter functions without getting hung up at any point in the lever sweep. Now we can remove the cable release lever. This next step isn't necessary, but it makes the finished product look a lot more pro and knocks a little bit of weight off of it. Clamp the cable release switch lever into a vise and use a hacksaw or Dremel cutoff wheel to sever the lever. Then clean up the cut edge and make it flush with the shifter body. If you want to go the extra mile, you can use a sharpie to make the missing switch just a little more invisible. Now we can finish the reassembly. Reinstall the plastic gear indicator plate, then install the upper shifter cover and the screws that hold it in place except for the screw that interfaces with the handlebar clamp or i-spec assembly. Now install the handlebar clamp followed by the final screw on the underside of the shifter. Then install the barrel adjuster, cable port plug, and the secondary shifter cover or gear indicator. Double check the switch's function, mount it up to your dropper post, and enjoy your new, free, custom-made dropper post switch.